Brandy Holmes. I'm finding it hard to maintain a consistent amount of sympathy and understanding for some of the stories I hear in the ex-Scientology world. Listening to you and others, such as Leah Remini, Mike Rinder, Jason Begay, Mark Headley, to name a few, I've noticed your stories have the same type of theme. That is, you woke up to what the church was doing and felt it inconsistent with your morals, so you left. Not to oversimplify it, but in a nutshell. The stories of those like Marty Rathman and Skip Young seem to have a different tone. One that says they were perfectly fine with everything that was going on until the church turned on them. It seems that people who leave fall into three categories. One, people who felt they had to leave because what the church was doing to others, going against their own moral code, such as Leah, Mike, and yourself. Two, people who left because the church abused them personally, such as Jason and Mark. Three, people who participated in the abuse and were perfectly fine with it until the church turned on them, such as Marty and Skip. Do you notice this too? What are your thoughts about it? Thanks, Brandy. This is a sharp question. And um, I agree with your three categories, except I would instead actually say that those are characteristics of all of us who leave. I don't think there, it's a black and white issue. I don't think that it's a matter of uh, I don't have anything in category number three, for example. In other words, I did abuse people in Scientology, and I did think that it was okay, and I did think that what was going on around me was acceptable behavior, because I believe that what we were doing was the greatest good for the greatest number. And you can justify anything, anything, if you truly believe that what you're partaking in or what you're involved in is ultimately, you know, serving out the ends of the greatest good. Right? In other words, the end justifies the means. Uh, this is very, very easy to rationalize, and we all do it. And if any of you out there think you don't, I would ask you to take a look again, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> uh, it's kind of an you know, unfortunate uh, trait of ours that we do that. We get so worked up about what we're involved in and so sure that what, it's, that what it, we're doing is so good and so right and so pure that we are blind to the outnesses, the problems, the, the situations that exist. And, um, and I certainly fell into that situation when I was in Scientology. I also had moral problems with what was going on too, which is really weird, but it's true because human beings can have two contrary ideas, you know, in their head at the same time. And that is what I and uh, every other Scientologist experienced. So the driving force that generally gets people out of Scientology when they're in it, in that kind of a condition, is that something happens to them personally that they find unacceptable. That is a catalyst to wake them up to what's going on around them that is also, what else is going on that's also unacceptable. It's, it's a way of, of creating a chink in the armor or a, 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 a crack in the, in the wall that you can now see, you know, that there's something else wrong. And then, oh, wait a minute, now I can see two things that are wrong. But what about the, oh yeah, that's wrong too. And oh, so is that. And maybe that's not so bad, but that sure is. And you start it starts becoming okay to you to question what's going on or to see that there are problems, whereas before you would not see those problems. You would not look at those situations. Um, so I think all of us experienced all three of what you're talking about as far as those, those groupings. I think we all fit into all of those. Um, now, what you see, I think, in... Uh, reflected in the stories and the testimonials of people like me, Leah, Mike, um, you know, Mark Rathbun, right, uh, is you see how we've come to realize what we were involved in was wrong and bad, and our willingness to accept the um, responsibility for what we were involved in and how we contributed to it. And not everyone who comes out of Scientology is so quick to do that, right? Not everybody can rapidly see, oh, I was abusive too. Oh, I did stuff that was really not okay. Oh my God, right? This is a little bit of what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about some of the things I've realized over this last year about my own responsibility for what I was involved in in Scientology, is that if I don't accept 
that, you know, if I, I, sure, I can talk about how I was abused, how I was wronged, how I had bad things happen to me, and I did. All of those things are very true. But if I don't also look at and acknowledge that I was abusive to others, and if I don't, you know, accept that and fess up to it and go, yeah, that was part of the experience too, then, you know, am I really being morally and intellectually honest about the whole experience? That has to be part of the conversation. And it can be um, misrepresented, it can be mis, you know, misproportioned, right? Like I was nothing but abusive in Scientology. Well, that's not true, right? And Scientology was nothing but abusive toward me. Well, that's not true either, right? There's proportions to this. And I think what you see with, um, especially with somebody like, like I mean, Rathbun's kind of gone back. So he, I don't know what his situation is, but he, he just, he's useless now, right? And, um, and I'm not, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deride Skip Young or what happened to him or his experiences because I haven't walked in his shoes. I haven't walked in any of those folks' shoes, right? So it's, it's difficult for me to make value judgments about other exes, um, based on what happened to them or what they did or why they left or something. Um, you know, it's that they left. That's a good thing. What they do afterwards will hopefully continue to be a good thing if they educate themselves and go through a recovery process and come to, you know, see, you know, the good and bad of what of what happened and are willing to talk about that or acknowledge it, right? Um, it's not, and I, and I don't mean that like I'm gonna. Uh, I, I think they should be judged if they don't speak out or something. I just mean that it's a process. The recovery process is a process. We all have to go through it, some faster than others, some slower than others, and some more privately than others. You know, Skip Young, for example, may very well have feel all the ways I feel or Leah or Mike feel about his experience and some of what he was involved in, but he just hasn't talked about it. You know, so I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and judge him. Um, Mark Rathman has publicly gone back, you know, into uh, deriding and insulting and degrading Scientology critics and, uh, and Scientology criticism as a whole, right? So screw that guy, right? I don't care what Mark Rathman has to say. Uh, he, you know, and, and, for, and based on the fact that he's done that, we can reevaluate a lot of what he said over the last many years that he, when he came out of Scientology. Um, but I don't know. I think he meant what he said then, and I think he means what he says now, and people change, right? So I don't, you know, so I don't know that I, that everything he said over all those years was, was dishonest or was a trick or was some operation or something, you know? I think he just came out, something happened, and he decided that he needed to change his tune. And, uh, and so at this point, I have no, you know, no respect for the man, but he, he's just, following his own path, right? Um, and I think we all do that. So, so grouping people into different reasons why they left might not necessarily be as accurate as, um, as it looks maybe on the surface, right? Um, and, and I think each person deserves the, to, ha to have the time and the forum to tell their own story the way they want to and be understood on their terms and um, and then you know and then we can go on from there. The fact that they got out at all, two thumbs up as far as I'm concerned and that's that's all I really need to know about them uh, from from my perspective.